Well, you get your child support card, and now their teacher's performance could be made available as well. It's an idea Kansas Governor Sam Brownback was pushing, but he is getting some pushback from lawmakers. Christina Medina joins us now with more. Christina? Mark, right now the bill is still being finalized, but members of the Kansas House Education Committee are already blasting the plan, and so are some teachers. Aren't Jennifer Holtz working on her 10th year with the Kansas City, Kansas School District. Teaching's in my blood. My mother was a teacher, my father was a teacher, um, my grandfather was a teacher, taught in a one-room schoolhouse. Holtz says she loves her job. Every teacher I know is working phenomenally hard. But she's worried about the idea of posting teacher evaluations online. The proposal is part of Governor Sam Brownback's 138-page school plan. The student's performance of state assessment tests would be the main factor in the evaluation. I don't think that putting that their evaluation publicly out there is going to suddenly make improve their practice and make them work any harder. If anything, it's going to deter them. The Kansas City, Kansas Teachers Union president, who represents 900 teachers, has concerns as well. Are we really trying to improve education for our children, or is it really um, an effort just to lay blame on somebody? She thinks a statewide evaluation will hurt education. It depends on the community, the students, and the the staff that works there, and so really local control of decisions like evaluation um, are the strength rather than having a one-size-fits-all approach. But the governor hopes making evaluations public will only improve grades in the classroom. The lawmakers against the proposal said it could cause tension between teachers and parents and unfairly put the blame for poor student performance on teachers. The bill could be presented next week. Christina Medina, NBC Action News.